Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to those who are new here. So, today's video is a project share and a tutorial. So, first, um, I'll do the project share. And this is for Panalisa. So, they um, had me choose some items. And I've done a haul video. I will link that in the description as well if you guys want to check out that video. There's links to all the dyes. Uh, so, the first one is this beautiful floral background, and it comes with the word love and smile, a couple of extra flowers for, like, accents, a little banner piece, and uh, the words have their little background pieces, too. So, this is the main part of the die. I used it in combination with... Oh, let's see here. Um, oh, here it is. This bird die. Um, so I used my mini thermal printer and I printed out a little example so that I know where the pieces would go. Um, so you get the bird shape and then you get a few different feather pieces. And then you get the layering pieces for like the eyes and the beak. Um, things like that. So I used those two together and I created this card. And I love how it came out. So, um, I figured out my size for my background, for the floral background, um, and I cut it a half inch bigger on all sides, like my card base, um, so that I could layer and have enough, you know, showing, peeping out or on the edges. Um, so I used this ink background, um, from a paper pad I had, and then I cut some gold. Um, I layered it on some gold and then cut it so there was just a peep of, sorry about that. So I cut it so there was just a little peep of gold around the edges and I knew that I was using gold accents. So you can see the gold there just around the edge, just a slight peep. So I cut my floral background out of heavyweight, um, white cardstock and then I cut out a few layer uh, of the flavor, flower layering pieces. Sorry. Um, there's one here too in gold to match the accents of the bird. So I did the bird in pink. Um, and you can, if you can see they're layered up. So I glued down my first layers and then I used some foam tape to pop up those same pieces again. And then I also um, popped up the next one, this next top uh, piece on foam as well. And I like how I have the few random gold pieces there. And then I chose to do small. I did it with white in the background and gold. And it's just blank on the inside right now. And I will uh, make an envelope. And I'll probably use a few of these little flower accent pieces as well to go with the envelope. So that it matches with the card. So that is my... Project share, or my first, rather, project share for this video. Um, and, oh, I did try, so I also hauled these, um, this stamp set. So it's stamps, and it comes with coordinating dies. So... I guess I could have left that in there um, and this was a little tricky to me so it's different um, I didn't clean it off very well different crafty words and there are sayings friends don't let friends or no friends don't let you do stupid things alone um, your face makes me smile you're seriously way too cool you're my sidekick for life hang in the friend crafty friends are the best friends so I know that they line up and they have this die that coordinates with it so cut them out um, so I took my back off and I realized I'm going to have to take them off of this sheet and I may not get them lined back up again. Um, and I didn't want to risk messing that up. So I just took my tape runner, just a little, a tape runner like this and, oh, I dropped a word and ran it across the front so that I could leave my words on there. And so when I put it in my stamping platform, the adhesive on there um, is just enough to pick it up. So I stamped it 
Um, my first try, I stamped it with embossing ink and embossed it. Um, and I don't know if maybe the letters being so small and the embossing powder being thick, um, but they weren't, it wasn't all readable. Um, so then I stamped them in black and cut them out, doing the same way with that sheet. Um, and it worked. And I don't know if maybe there's another way to do this, and I'm not thinking of it. If you know an easier way to do this without taking them off the sheet so that they don't get out of order, because the die is made to fit the words just like they are. So if I take them off the sheet, they're not going to be lined up right anymore. So if you know of a way to do this instead of the adhesive like I did, please let me know in the comments. Um, so anyway, I sent them in black and cut them out. And I'm not, uh, I mean, I'm a stamp. I know how to stamp, but I'm not great at it. Um, so some of them ended up a little blurry. I don't know if maybe I pressed down too hard or what. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you better instead of in my hand. So, it looks a little blurry when I zoom in. So, um, some of them came out okay. See, there's the Crafty Friends are the best friends. You're flipping amazeballs. Um, you can see this one here is a little thicker on the end than there, so I don't know if I press too hard or what. But I do like the sentiments, and if I have to take them off and stamp them separately for it to work, you know, that's what I'll do. And then I'll just figure out which, um, you know, like I say, say I took off You're My Sidekick for Life, I would just find which die fits, you know, and then die cut it out whichever one I want to use. So that is those guys. And then, um, I also may put together a 3D die. What did I do with... Oh. So, um, I chose to put together the 3D tea cut die. And that's also what I'm going to do a tutorial on. So, uh, this die builds this little 3D tea cup here. Is that not adorable? You get your plate, the cup, the handle... Um, the little sugar cubes, all the layering pieces you need. Now these, I the flowers I fussy cut out of a um, collection that I was using and used those to decorate. Um, but yeah, and you get your little spoon here. Super adorable. Love how it came out. And you can do however many cubes you want. You could fill the cup up, whatever. Floats your boat. Love the little handle there. And so I'm going to do a quick tutorial for that. So, if you have this die, I'm going to let you know um, pieces. So, for this piece, this makes your cup. So, you need to cut this one twice. And um, the first one I did a heavyweight white cardstock. But for my next one, I used a pretty shimmer cardstock. So, you're going to cut that one twice. Um, you get these pieces to layer your cup. So, you get three... You're going to cut that twice as well for the panels on the outside of your cup. Whatever um, paper you want it to be decorated in. So you're going to cut that out twice to have six of those. Let's see. This makes your plate and you're going to need two of these as well as one of these. It's going to fit right together like that to make your plate. So two of these, one of these. And then these are your layering pieces for your plate. And you get three of those. So you want to cut those three out two times. And so I did mine. You can see on my plate I did them in gold. So whatever color you want that to be. You're going to need six of those. This is your handle. So you're going to need to cut it out once. And this piece goes with your handle. So you're going to cut it out once as well. And then, and then you need, uh, you get this piece too. This makes your little um, uh, sugar cube. 
So you need however many sugar cubes you want. On this one, I did four. Um, the next one, I'm doing just three. So I cut it three times. And then you need to cut your spoon out of um, whatever you like. I think I have it in white this time. I'm going to paint it. For this one, I did gold. So once you have all those cut, now we're going to put it together. I'm going to pull all my pieces in. So, um, for the sake of the video and time, I've already die cut everything, um, and let's see. So, for this one, I already put the panels on and applied some adhesive. So, I'm going to show you that. So, excuse me. So, this is where your decorative panels go here. Um, and when you cut it in person, you'll see a little bit of an embossed line. I'm not sure if you can see it around the edge. And that'll help you to center your pieces to get them on there just right. I can't see from here. Let me I'll have to use my, let's get my glue and go ahead and start putting this on. So, um, from here on out, I am going to go in and speed up the video so it doesn't take so long. So if there's anything you have questions about, please feel free to comment in the uh, comments below. And if it's something I can answer or help you with, I will certainly do so. Okay, and now I will show you how to put together the bottom plate. So, you're going to take these pieces and on the score lines, don't fold them all the way, but just a little bit. Just to give them a little bit of shape. And then you have tabs on the end, and you do not need to fold those. Just glue right on the edges. And if it helps you line it up, um, you can also do this piece first. So... This time, I'm going to just add glue on these tabs right here. These three tabs for this one. And then I'm going to take my, I forget what you call this, and I'm going to just put it on there right up against the score line. Just like that. I'm going to use my bone folder. And I should have done my decorative pieces first. But it is okay. We can still do that. And so for this one, you have one tab here. So you're going to put a little bit on that tab. And then you're going to take this piece Put glue on those three inner tabs again, as well as this outer tab here, just like that. And then we're going to turn so it goes on top of this outer piece and underneath the one on the opposite end. Right, and then you're just going to take your little layering pieces here 
add glue and um, center those on all sides just like we did the cup so just gonna add some adhesive and this time I'm gonna take my tweezers since it's a small piece and help lay it down and just center it with the same embossing lines that it gives um, like the first one Okay, and now that it's folded and adhered, I'm going to go around and just shape up my plate a little bit so that it's not super flat. Um, I want it to have, say, a little bit of dimension, like an actual plate would. Not just flat as paper. Okay, so there is your cup. In your little plate it's gonna sit on there just like that and for the next part you need your handle so you have these tiny little tabs on the end if you can see I've already folded them in on both sides and what we're going to do here is adhere those each tab to this little piece here and then you're going to adhere those to your cup. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can. I haven't done it with these nails just yet. So I hope that I can get it on there. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, because of these nails and how tedious it is, I am going to use some double-sided tape and I'm going to do it off camera right quick just because I need to bend down and I don't want my head in front of the camera. So I will be right back with that put together. Okay, and so when you have it put together um, and the tabs on it, it's going to look like this. And then you're going to put your adhesive on this part. of the tabs. Oh, my glue wants to get dried up in the middle of a video. All right, here we go. So you're going to put the glue there on both of those. And then you're going to, wherever, whichever side you want your, um, handle to be on. You're just going to find the place you want to put it and stick it in place that it's not centered. Alright, there we go. With it being dimensional, it is a little harder. Um, I haven't thought about doing this before adding my panels, so that could be easier. I'm going to go in here with my tweezers, make sure it's sticking, and then push back down here, and then that's basically it for your cup, besides whatever decorations you want to put on it, and I'm going to adhere mine to my plate again, I'm just going to line it up with that shape, and adhere it like that. So there is my little cup, super adorable little teacup, and then I have one of my cubes here. There's my little spoon, and I like to take an embossing tool and rub it here just like you would a flower petal to give it some uh, the shape of a spoon. So I'm going to bend it so that it has more of um, an actual spoon. And also, this spoon has this embossing here on the end. Super adorable. Like a real spoon would. 
little design and so and you can obviously paper piece that if you like so um i wanted to show you right quick how to put the um cube together so you're going to fold all the tabs in at first it looks like this and so you're going to go in and fold all the tabs in the same direction just like this one two three four five six seven tabs then you're going to flip it over and with it all the tabs going inwards that one goes up this one these the sides kind of hug that one make sure your tabs are in then those two tabs make sure they're in they're going to tuck inside there as well And then that last one is what closes up your little box for your cube. Just like so. I just need to add some adhesive to mine. But when you add your adhesive and you are done, then it looks just like this. And I'm just going to um, adhere mine on the side here so that I have three little sugar cubes stacked up next to it. So yeah, that is my tutorial. This is super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you will go grab the die for yourself. It was super fun to make. And it is so beautiful once put together. So that is the one I just created. And then of course this one that I did the last time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have that video um, of the haul for this one linked in the description box if you guys want to go check it out. Maybe get some of the dyes for yourself. And again, thank you to Panalisa for sending me these products. I'm having a blast with them. So, um, I'll catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye-bye.